Hey guys, what's going on? Carter here. Well, I got another hinder video for you. I've been doing quite a few of those lately. You know, I got my two collaborations in, plus my XM18 here. I'd really like to get another one, but I just I can't do it until prices get uh, more reasonable. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. What this is about is I wanted to see if this baby's carpetized. I'm not sure if it is. In fact, I have not taken this apart at all. I've removed this screw here to put on the new scale, but that's about it. I have not fully taken it apart. I have not looked inside, and I wanted to see if it was carbonized. I couldn't, I couldn't tell just by trying to look through the uh, the cutout here, and so I wanted to see. Figured you guys might be interested as well. Um, I'm going to take this apart on screen. So what I'll do is, while I'm talking, let's talk about carbonization in case you don't know. Some people think that it is some sort of carbon type process, like they heat up the lock face to make it harder or something like that. As far as I know, there's uh, heat treating. Titanium does not add any strength to it. What carbonization is, is simply welding a layer of tungsten carbides to this surface right here. And what that does is, well, first of all, tungsten carbides are very hard. And the problem with titanium against steel is titanium is pretty soft so when it jams up against steel it'll stick and the steel being harder will also cause wear on the titanium more so than if this was steel of similar hardness so what the carbides do is they help l level the playing field they create a very hard surface just on the top of the lock bar which prevents stickiness and also helps reduce wear and you can see pretty much any or most titanium blades will have a carbide edge to it for the same reason because the titanium if the blades made out of titanium then it's just it's much too soft of a material to hold an edge for very long so by putting carbides on it you get the carbide edge which is very very hard and will give you a nice edge look at that nice stone washing on the inside of the liners I just I love that hinder stone washing it's just so nice See if we can pry this baby apart here. Like I thought it would be, very, very tight tolerances on here. Oh, there we go. Which is what I assumed would be the case. Okay, here is the blade. Here are the Teflon washers. Part of the reason, very thin Teflon washers. Part of the reason why this sucker is just so buttery smooth. And it is. Here is a very interesting closed position stop pin right here, which is actually whoop, right in the middle, right here. The Gen 4 is it actually moves to a more uh, traditional location. Here's these nice, man, are these titanium? Does anybody know if these are titanium? Let me know, because they feel really, really light. Could be aluminum. I don't know. There's, I guess there's not a ton of material there. But yeah, let me know, guys. These suckers feel really light. Wish I had a magnet down here. Okay, let's take a look at what we came to see. And that is, wow, that's very cool. So this has, sorry, going back to this. So this actually has a screw right there and then these pillars slide over the top and act as the actual spacer, the standoff. That's very cool. Um, so let's clean this off here. See if we can get a closer look. Come on, focus. Getting close. Yes, it does look like it is carbonized. You can kind of see, kind of like this shiny kind of crustiness on that surface there that is carbonized and granted I did not get this directly from Hinder but uh, I do not have any reason to believe this is a aftermarket job I'm pretty sure that he actually carbonizes his lock faces and I pretty much knew this would be the case I mean after you've you've dealt with enough knives 
kind of felt what carbonization feels like on the lock bar, you can pretty much say, yeah, that's that's carbonized. Um, because it sticks. It doesn't matter. I mean, even uh, Emerson's very thin liner, titanium liner, very thin liner, not under a ton of pressure. It doesn't get jammed in there, but it's, you can feel it. It does stick. I mean, it doesn't like, you know, it's not like you got to pry it apart stick, but you can feel it stick. This does not stick. So I was pretty confident that it was uh, carbonized, and it is. I'm, I'm a big, I talk about carbonization a lot for some reason, because it's kind of an unsung hero with titanium frame locks. And I think a lot of people still don't fully understand it or know about it. But anyway, so, yep, it is carbonized. I'm fully confident that he does that out of his shop. I don't think this is a, you know, a pimp job, but somebody sent it in to get carbonized. You never know, but I'm not thinking that's the case. But yeah, very cool construction on these, you know, fairly simple, to the point, effective, very nice. Alright guys, take it easy.